What if you don't need to live in pain and suffering? What if you could give up your karma and have a life of abundance and joy? What if you could start creating magic and miracles that you never thought were possible? Get ready to listen, share, and experience the magic that is you. Now, here's the host of Creating Abundance with Ease radio show, Dr. Helen Gitlovich. Welcome, I'm Dr. Helen Gitlovich on Creating Abundance with Ease. And today our show is actually part two of Does the Fear Run Your Life? We had so much come up in the prior week and you're welcome to listen to it. So I've decided to continue the conversation. Uh, I'm a medical doctor who became Access Consciousness Facilitator and a Kasha Cracker teacher, 3D body facility. I mean, I've done a lot of different modalities throughout my life. And I was always searching for different ways of helping people. Now I pretty much facilitate, teach classes around the world, inviting people to a different possibility with their lives, with their health, with their relationship, and using tools of access consciousness and Akasha Krakens. Um, as I said, last week we were talking about fear and how much it's running people's lives. So we were talking about access tools and who does it belong to because a lot of fears are not ours. And it's pretty much sometimes didn't even come from this lifetime. I'm talking about reincarnation and if you don't believe in reincarnation that's fine because the same principles apply if the fear comes from your childhood because a lot of times we pick up from our parents we pick up from people around us even when we're growing up even when we are in utero when we are just a little tiny fetus a few cells but energetically, our soul, our being, interprets the signals from outside because the primary language of us is energy. So when the mother gets afraid of something or she is with a person who is afraid, the little baby inside feels it, senses it, and it has no clue what's going on. So the first things, the adrenaline pumps, or it just becomes an imprint on the soul, imprint on the body. Because a lot of times, at least for me, I felt fear completely irrational. Let's talk about things like claustrophobia and fear of heights. Okay, fear of heights, I would say, probably came from my childhood because I decided to crawl over the balconies. We used to live in apartment building which had nine floors and we were on the ninth floor. We had a little balcony next to another balcony of the neighbors and there was a small, I would say, maybe a couple of feet difference of space um, they had a little table over there so you can crawl over um, from their balcony to ours or our balcony to the neighbors and I used to like a couple of times I forgot my keys so I crawled over and entered through the balcony through the door um, on the balcony or even the window on the ninth floor, you used to leave the windows open, not thinking that somebody can crawl in there. And one winter, I forgot my keys, so I didn't want to stay outside, didn't want to go back to school. Friends were busy, so I wanted to go home and I was hungry. So I knocked on the neighbor's house and I said, can I crawl over? Everything was covered in ice. At 13, you kind of don't think you're can fall you're totally invincible right so I started crawling and I almost fell off because it was so slippery 
the neighbor almost had a heart attack when it happened. <laughs> I, I cannot imagine what the neighbor was thinking because it was an adult man or an adult woman. I don't remember who it was. And I started screaming, but I crawled into my balcony and went home. But after that, I had fear of heights. Or at least that's what I've decided. I had fear of heights. And um, when I started doing Akashic Records, I realized that the fear of heights had nothing to do with me crawling on the, over the balcony um, with all the ice and snow and stuff. It came from prior lifetime. It came from multiple lifetimes where I was either thrown off the cliff, fell off the cliff, um, kind of like those things, was killed on the cliff, um, or fell off the horse on the mountains. There were so many things that created that fear of heights. How many of you that have that or claustrophobia where you think it's related to being stuck in the elevator like I did when I was young. Uh, or it was when you were buried alive, like I was buried alive in Egypt. It's like knowing all of that or my fear of insects comes from being buried alive in Egypt, ancient Egypt. We're talking about in the tomb. So our past lives, a lot of times carry those the keys to what's going on now a lot of people don't realize that how much of past lives or our past experience past lives or this lifetime does not matter because both leave the imprint on our dna leave imprint in our brain we say okay it's uh chemical, electromagnetic imprints, but that's information. That's how the computers hold the information. And our brain is pretty much like a computer. It holds information from a lot of things. And a lot of times it's logical, illogical choices based on the fear, based on the emotions that happened thousands of years ago. And is it relevant right now? But a lot of times we don't realize how relevant that is or how irrelevant that is because our interpretation of that energy that's going on in our brain, kind of like a lot of times misguide us and misinterprets the information. Think of fear, it's fight or flight response in animals and we are part animal. Our body is from the animal kingdom because it has all the biological, chemical, physiological responses that the animal will do. But a lot of it is in response to emotional triggers. And those emotional triggers, a lot of times we would get scared a little bit, maybe stressed out, but the response is totally inadequate. We never ask why, and a lot of times why is not a good question, but in this case, why is pretty much compounding effect of multiple factors? Because that situation might be somewhat energetically similar to what happened 200 years ago and when there was a real danger. When somebody came at us with a knife or came at us with uh, a spear or a gun and we died. Our body, like that body 200 years ago died. Now we're in a new body and we're like, oh, we have adrenaline rush, so must be some danger might be somebody trying to kill us. Actually, it might be the same person that was 200 years ago that now is your boss and trying to kill you emotionally. And you're looking at it as like, oh my God, he killed me 200 years ago. Now he's killing me now. I need to run. I cannot run. I'm going to die. 
all of that is totally unconscious. That conversation that I just went through, that logic, does not exist. It's all in the subconscious, unconscious, energetic, chemical, biochemical, physiological level, and our body responds to that to the point where it creates so much adrenaline response that maybe a panic attack happens or unrational fear and we want to run away and sometimes to the point where we start yelling or we start crying all those all those things people say like why are you doing that this, this is not worth it i mean this guy told you this come on why are you reacting this way you're reacting this way because this guy killed you or maybe tortured you or maybe something else or maybe you love them they love you and they got killed who knows the idea is to let it go now doesn't matter what the reasons and justifications are it's about choosing in the moment what works for you now and one of the tools i love um, that gets us out of it is from akashic records is forgiveness and I talk a lot about forgiveness and a lot of people don't realize that it's not about forgiving and continuing the same path and doing the same thing over again and letting them abuse you. It's not about being doormat. It's about clearing the energy, whatever stuck for you, for them. It's about clearing all those negative emotions um, but negative, I mean, there are no negative or positive, but something that doesn't work for you, that anger, that shame, that blame, that stress, all of that is part of things that you're holding on to so tightly that there is no room for change. There is no room for you to allow this to dissipate. So with forgiveness, it actually shifts things around so you can choose something different, that you are not stuck in a painful situation. And I'm going to read it right now, and then we'll go on a break. It's, I allow, and again, it's not about us forgiving them Kind of like forgive and forget no that has nothing to do with it this is about clearing that energy so i allow the forgiveness of the universe to flow through me to cleanse me from anything that i have done been seen and heard to anyone or anything consciously or unconsciously in any time space dimension or reality i allow the forgiveness of the universe to flow through me to cleanse me from anything that I have experienced that was done, been seen and heard to me by anyone or anything, consciously or unconsciously, in any time, space, dimension or reality. I allow the forgiveness of the universe to flow through me, to cleanse me from anything that I have done, been seen and heard to me, by me, consciously or unconsciously, in any time, space, dimension or reality. And it's time for our first uh, break of the show. And you've been listening to me, Dr. Helen Gitlevich, on Creating Abundance with Ease on Inspired Choices Network. And we will be right back. Many of us live our lives based on karma, on the past and all the unfinished business in our lives. What would you choose if you did not have karma or if you could choose what you desired instead? By tuning into Creating Abundance with Ease radio show with Dr. Helen Gitlovich, you'll receive tools and inspiration you can use to create the abundance in your life. You are an infinite being with infinite choices. Are you ready to have ease with creating abundance? 
listen for Creating Abundance with Ease radio show every Wednesday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, and 9 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Are you a subject matter expert? Are you here to share your expertise with an audience waiting to hear from you in only the way you can deliver? Are you ready to have your voice amplified across the airwaves? Inspired Choices Network has a global radio platform streaming to millions of people across the world. Professionally produced and supported by an accomplished team every step of the way, you can broadcast from anywhere in the world knowing your voice matters and we ensure it is delivered with ease and efficiency. Eager to hear your message, the world awaits. Contact us today to become an Inspired Choices Network radio host. Email become a host at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. This is the Creating Abundance with Ease show with Dr. Helen Gitlovich. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also make the choice to ask or comment by email by sending to helen.g at att.net. Now, back to the program. Welcome forward, everyone. I'm Dr. Helen Gitlovich on Creating Abundance with Ease. And today our show topic is Does the Fear Run Your Life? Part 2. Uh, with uh, everything that we talked about in the first part, the fear, the anxiety, and the forgiveness. And I read the forgiveness prayer. So a lot of times when I facilitated the Akashic Records classes, people were in awe of how much of that past life, unfinished business or things that we promised, all the contracts, keeps carrying over or that not forgiveness carries over into this lifetime and it keeps tying people together for infinity pretty much because let's face it um i went to a wedding uh this weekend and there were vows till until we're alive and I heard that and it's like, okay, but the soul never dies. The soul is alive pretty much forever without the beginning, without the end. So we basically promise to be married forever. Um, I will haunt you till the end of my days is another kind of like vow that people made in the old times, like I'm going to kill you even if uh, I have to die for it. I mean, there is so many variations on that uh, promises of either killing or taking care of. Um, doesn't matter. When we do that, we tie the people together with us or they tie it with themselves, with them. Um, so when we do forgiveness prayer, we start unraveling and untying those karmic connections. Because um, at the root of everything is some emotion that people cannot forgive another person. I'm talking about like when it's killing, when it's torturing, when it's abuse, when it's um, stress related. When it's a love from the first sight, not necessarily love, because the same emotion that love is fear. Um, you know how they say in the fairy tales, oh, I've seen her across a crowded room and she was my half. Um, not necessarily, because the pounding heart the excitement feels exactly the same as fear. Because when you have that emotional response and very intense one, chances are, or at least like 50-50, that that person killed you. Not so much you were in love with them. 
or that person tortured me. That's why a lot of marriages uh, turn into battlefield, abuse, um, trying to prove something, trying to uh, show that one person is better than the other, competition, or simple torture. All of it is part of going back to previous lifetimes. They replaying the same scenario, maybe not in physical sense, but in emotional, spiritual sense. Uh, trying to overwhelm that. Think of a relationship that you're in right now that you're either afraid or anger or um, there's abuse there. And I know it's hard to think of that relationship and forgive. That's why I'm not asking you to forgive. There is nothing to forgive with anything that in our lives. Because that's all the product of, I would say, some of it is at least product of our karma that we've created a long time ago. And it's not a wrongness. Don't make yourself wrong that you're still holding on to the karmic connections. It just didn't have tools that can clear it with ease right now. So what if you just like look at yourself? Oh, okay, cool. That's a karmic thing. Hmm. Is it working for me now? Is it relevant to me now? And if not, just allow the forgiveness to flow through you. So I'm going to read it again. And just think of that relationship that you're in that possibly um, is abusive or somewhere where you feel angry, somewhere where you feel fear. It can be job, it can be relationship, it can be your health even. Because a lot of time we abuse ourselves and that's how we decided that we have to pay the price for being either too powerful, killing somebody and we abuse ourselves, create illnesses, create damage in the body. So it doesn't matter what you're afraid of right now, a person, an illness, a thing, job. Just think of that in this moment. Ex, ex, Ex-husband, co-parent, yeah, in anybody that you're still connected and you feel like you don't have a choice. That's usually the karmic one where forgiveness might shift something. So think of them, think of the situations and just follow me with a prayer. I allow the forgiveness of the universe to flow through me, to cleanse me from anything that I have done, been, seen, heard, to anyone or anything, consciously or unconsciously, in any time, space, dimension, or reality. I allow the forgiveness of the universe to flow through me, to cleanse me from anything that I have experienced that was done, been, seen, heard, to me by anyone or anything, consciously or unconsciously, in any time, space, dimension, or reality. I allow the forgiveness of the universe to flow through me, to cleanse me from anything that I have done, been, seen, and heard to me by me, consciously or unconsciously, in any time, space, dimension, or reality. How are you feeling right now? Any change, any lightness in your universe with that person, thing, whatever it is, with yourself, with your illness? Let's do it once more. I allow the forgiveness of the universe to flow through me, to cleanse me from anything that I have done, been, seen, heard, to anyone or anything, consciously or unconsciously, in any time, space, dimension, or reality. I allow the forgiveness of the universe to flow through me, to cleanse me from anything that I have experienced, that was done, been, seen, and heard, to me, by anyone or anything, consciously or unconsciously, in any time, space, dimension, or reality. I allow the forgiveness of the universe to flow through me, 
to cleanse me from anything that I have done, been seen and heard to me, by me, consciously or unconsciously, in any time, space, dimension, or reality. And by the way, you can find that prayer and we'll probably post it in the podcast. So you can use that anytime. You can use that um, anytime you get angry, anytime you get fearful, anytime when you're not being happy. If you're feeling weird, it doesn't matter what it is. It's just about being in the space because fear takes us out of our own being us. Fear is something that is pretty much that mechanism that's not allowing us to be happy. Think about any moment that you were really, really happy. There is always that nagging feeling, that fear that something will go wrong. And that fear, a lot of times, is more powerful than even your happiness. So it starts creating that whatever you're afraid of. We always have that expression, waiting for the second shoe to drop. But what if there is no second shoe? What if there is no other thing? What if we can be just happy? What if we can just have the joy without the fear of something else is going on because when there is a fear that something wrong is going to happen it's not only starts creating the whatever fear is but it also takes us out of that happiness we are not present with that orgasmic joyful amazing um experience that we have today it takes us into the future of projection expectation judgments and conclusions and that starts creating our life instead of the joy that we are experiencing in the moment and time flies and it's time for our second break of the show when we return we'll talk more about um, how to create from joy instead of fear And you've been listening to Creating Abundance with Ease with myself, with Dr. Helen Gitlevich on the Inspired Choices Network. And we'll be right back. Many of us live our lives based on karma, on the past and all the unfinished business in our lives. What would you choose if you did not have karma or if you could choose what you desired instead? By tuning into Creating Abundance with Ease radio show with Dr. Helen Gitlovich, you'll receive tools and inspiration you can use to create the abundance in your life. You are an infinite being with infinite choices. Are you ready to have ease with creating abundance? Listen for Creating Abundance with Ease radio show every Wednesday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, and 9 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Magic and abundance are everywhere. What if you could tap into abundance and start creating your life with complete and total ease? Working with Dr. Helen Gitlovich will give you exactly that, total ease in creating abundance in your life. Dr. Gitlovich creates classes all over the world, both in person and online. She works with you to create abundance with your money, with your body, with your relationships, with all areas of your life with total ease. Connect with Dr. Helen Gitlovich at creatingabundancewithease.com. Her contribution in your world will be a noticeable gift in a very short period of time. How wonderful would it be to carry your favorite Inspired Choices Network host with you throughout your day? Well, now you can. Inspired Choices Network now has its very own mobile app. Our free app offers live streaming shows along with thousands of podcasts and TV episodes. Our shows cover a wide variety of topics. 
Whether you're waking up with us, carrying us through the day, and taking us to bed with you, we're always here for you to enjoy. We're easy to find. Just search for Inspired Choices Network in the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. This is the Creating Abundance with Ease show with Dr. Helen Gitlovich. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. You can also make the choice to ask or comment by email by sending to helen.g at att.net. Now, back to the program. Welcome forward, everyone. I'm Dr. Helen Gitlovich on Creating Abundance with Ease. And today our show topic is does fear run your life part two and with part two it's about like last week we were talking about um access consciousness tools today we're talking more about akasha crackers tools and in the first couple of parts we were talking a lot about forgiveness and that's one of the major tools with akasha crackers and what is akasha crackers it, a lot of people have so much misconception about what Akashic Records are. Akashic Records are nothing more than just records of consciousness. Basically, all the possible and impossible um, choices that we made or didn't make. All the uh, possibility of choice, all the possibilities of thoughts, all the possibilities of feelings, emotions. Um, everything we did did not do create a different path and created infinite universes, parallel universes like quantum mechanics talks about it. So all of that is information about what is and what it's not. It's information about past lives, all the infinite possibilities of past life, past, past future, future lives. All of that and more it's creative force creative field where everything is possible and it's just our choice that solidifies that pretty much the oneness consciousness this is all akashic field and the records are just that records of that um, and when we look in the records we see a lot of entanglements with different people and fear a lot of times stems from those entanglements could be past lives could be this lifetime could be parallel lifetime could be things that we are not aware or maybe aware of it's all going on on energetic unconscious subconscious level and sometimes it presents itself as fear as I said before, sometimes we see a person ac across a crowded room. It could be if it's a different sex and you're heterosexual, you assume it's love. Even if you're not, a lot of times your past memories get activated, not in the way that you think. Sometimes that's sometimes you feel like a deja vu. And that deja vu uh, phenomena could have been that you already have been and done this in some other variation of that virtual vibrational reality. Because our life is pretty much a virtual vibrational reality. Let's face it. We're playing the game. And this body is the avatar. We make it so serious, everything that a lot of times we're not allowing the joy of the game of life to come through. We suppress a lot of things that could create a different reality for us. Because if it is a virtual reality game, we can do anything we want. Anything we desire, we can achieve. And yet, we have a point of view that we are subject to this reality. We are subject to this life. And that's where creation is stopped. 
but yet we're creating the stuff of the creation. I know it's a, it's a mind fuck, seriously, because our point of view creates our reality, right? So if we have a point of view, we don't have a choice. We actually create no choice life. If we have a point of view that we are afraid of death, we are creating dying illness or dying that somebody we love starts dying all the fears that we have has a potential of creation because it has enough emotional charge if we start getting rid of fears if we start but not by force by melting them by allowing ourselves to be bigger than the fears um, I had a lot of claustrophobia, fear of heights, and my very first bars class pretty much melted it, deleted it, and let go of that. I realized about a week later that I was able to meditate in a cave that was tiny, um, that I barely could sit up without, uh, sit without touching the ceiling. And I had to crawl into that. And I was on a horse in Himalaya on a cliff without any twinge of fear. And I had fear of heights as we talked in the first part of the show. And by the way, if you never had your bars run, never experienced the process called bars, um, which is um, amazing, an hour, hour and a half session where people touch your head it's 32 points on the head, lightly touched, let go of so many things. And you feel like you had amazing massage at the worst and at the best your life might change. So that's another way of getting rid of karma, getting rid of fear. And the other, as we were talking about, is forgiveness. Because a lot of times when we forgive ourselves, or whatever we've done, that fear, that particular fear, starts dissipating. Let's play with that. Uh, pick one fear that you have right now. Any fear. Uh, it can be fear of heights, fear of relationship, fear of being in a relationship, fear of not being in a relationship, all of that. Uh, fear of dying, fear of illness. And let's play with that. Just have it in front of you, think of it, embrace it. I allow the forgiveness of the universe to flow through me, to cleanse me from anything that I have done, been, seen, and heard to anyone or anything, consciously or unconsciously, in any time, space, dimension, or reality. I allow the forgiveness of the universe to flow through me, to cleanse me from anything that I have experienced that was done, being seen, and heard to me by anyone or anything consciously or unconsciously in any time, space, dimension, or reality. I allow the forgiveness of the universe to flow through me, to cleanse me from anything that I have done, been seen, and heard to me by me consciously or unconsciously, in any time, space, dimension, or reality. Okay, my fear melted. I don't have it. Um, I'm not even sure what fear it was. I just asked for any fear that I have to kind of like play with that. Um, a lot of times we suppress things that can open up things for us that will create greater. But the fear is not letting us. Um, I know I was working with a lot of clients, a lot of uh, um, students, a lot of participants in the class, classes. Um, I found out, as um, Miriam Williams said, the biggest fear is actually not of failure or um, things that harmful it's of ourselves it's our light 
it's our um, greatness. And um, I don't remember the quote exactly, but it's, it's about our greatness that we are afraid the most. And in Access Consciousness, we talk a lot about that, especially with um, one of the fears that if you do step into the greatness, it will destroy and kill everybody else around you. But it's a truth with a lie attached. When you step into your greatness, the light that you need, the, the light you become, the invitation to a greater reality and the consciousness will melt, will destroy the reality of people around you if they let you. Or even if not, a lot of times those lives will be destroyed. They won't be able to live in the reality of lies anymore. But they're not going to die from it. It's the reality that gets destroyed, not the people allowed around you. Because we cannot destroy what's real. Let's face it. It's a law of this universe. The energy can just change form. You cannot destroy energy. You cannot destroy what's true and real. The only thing you can destroy is lies. And limitations and limitations are lies in a different form judgments are lies so how much fear do you need to have of destruction of people if they are real if the relationship if it's real but if the relationship is not real would you actually like to keep it if the relationship based on a lie, would you rather keep that relationship or would you let it go and seek something that's true for you? And this is actually a good place for you to ponder and for us to go on our third break of the show. And you've been listening to Creating Abundance with Is with myself, Dr. Helen Gitlevich on Inspired Choices Network. And we will be right back. Many of us live our lives based on karma, on the past and all the unfinished business in our lives. What would you choose if you did not have karma or if you could choose what you desired instead? By tuning into Creating Abundance with Ease radio show with Dr. Helen Gitlovich, you'll receive tools and inspiration you can use to create the abundance in your life. You are an infinite being with infinite choices. Are you ready to have ease with creating abundance? Listen for Creating Abundance with Ease radio show every Wednesday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, and 9 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. This is the Creating Abundance with Ease show with Dr. Helen Gitlovich. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. You can also make the choice to ask or comment by email by sending to Helen.G at ATT.net. Now, back to the program. Welcome forward, everyone. I'm Dr. Helen Gidlevich. I'm creating abundance with ease. And today our show topic is Does Fear Run Your Life? Part two. And yes, I know, part two. So there is part one last week. <laughs> so you can listen to it uh, in a podcast on multiple stations. And by the way, um, for you who are joining us right now, the first time, uh, the podcast, like after the live show, it goes to TV and podcast stations um, all around the world. So you can listen to it, watch it uh, anytime. It's on iTunes, everywhere. Um, and 
you can listen and watch the past shows and the future shows if you'd like. It's on Wednesdays at 11 o'clock a.m. Um, standard daylight saving time, I think. And um, 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Just check around the world what time is it there. As well as um, next week, I'll come back with a different topic. Do you love, hate, or ignore your body? We'll be talking about the bodies. This is actually next couple of weeks. I'm doing a lot of classes uh, with bodies, with earth. And you can join me on a free Zoom that's coming up on August 16th at 12 o'clock Central Standard Time, 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, which is we're going to talk about joy of having body. Also, a couple of Being You classes, Being You with Earth, August 13 and 14, uh, as well as Being You with the Body, uh, August 2021. I'm also going to Asheville with Three Day Body class on August 26, 28. And you can find out more about the classes, about what I do, where I am in the world uh, at creatingabundancewithease.com or join me on Facebook, Instagram, uh, LinkedIn, pretty much everywhere. And I have business page on Facebook, Creating Abundance with Ease, as well as um, YouTube channel, Creating Abundance with Ease. Also, I'm doing 31 day challenge of no judgment zone uh, with Lale. Uh, it's 31 days judgment free zone, uh, Facebook group where you can join and see what we've done so far. It started August 1st. Still time to join, as well as being you without hiding, doing a lot of things with gratitude, with clearings. And if you're new to Access Consciousness, you can find out more about that at accessconsciousness.com. Uh, clearing statement, clearingstatement.com, which I haven't used in this show, but sometimes I do. And about Akasha Crackers um, classes, <clears throat> consultations, and stuff I do on my website, blog. And you can sign up for my newsletter. Um, that's once a month. Um, and sometimes occasional emails of what's coming up. Uh, on the website too by downloading a free uh, meditation that works on expansion of your being expansion of your body and just play with the tools just see what it will create for you in your lives because the more tools you use the less fear starts running your life because when you're in fear, a lot of times fear can paralyze people. Think of that gazelle that the lion is about to pounce on, that fight or flight response. A lot of times that fear paralyzes them. So the lion actually has an easy time to catch and kill it. So how often in our lives we are actually in that fight or flight in that fear and being paralyzed by the fear. We cannot do what needs to be done. We cannot um, create, we cannot get out. So that's a time to actually use the tools. And forgiveness prayer is such an easy tool if you carry it with you everywhere. And let's say you're in a, that space of fear and you're paralyzed. So instead of being paralyzed, just pull out that prayer and just say, just read through that. You don't have to memorize it. If you memorize it, that's fine. But if you didn't even memorize it, just, I don't memorize it. There are so many tools that I don't memorize. I just have them in my pocket or on my phone. Um, I carry a lot of like prayers uh, from Akasha Krakat because there is a lot of prayers. There is a lot of grace points. Grace points I kind of like remember. I might not remember their names, but I remember where they are. 
And grace point like for fear, like releasing fear is right here. And if you're watching, you can see me, but if you're not watching, just listening, it's between the, um, on your hand, on the back of the hand, between the pinky and ring finger in that web. And you just touch it lightly. Um, and our show is coming to the end. There's only a few minutes left. I'd like to cram as much as I can in the next four minutes. But meanwhile, I just want to read the forgiveness prayer. I allow the forgiveness of the universe to flow through me, to cleanse me from anything that I have done, been, seen, and heard to anyone or anything consciously or unconsciously in any time, space, dimension, or reality. I allow the forgiveness of the universe to flow through me, to cleanse me from anything that I have experienced that was done, been, seen, and heard to me by anyone or anything, consciously or unconsciously, in any time, space, dimension, or reality. I allow the forgiveness of the universe to flow through me, to cleanse me from anything that I have done, been, seen, and heard to me, by me, consciously or unconsciously, in any time, space, dimension, or reality. It takes less than a minute to read the prayer. And you might read it over and over again until it shifts. Sometimes I read it like three times, five times, ten times. And again, it might take you five minutes to do that, maybe ten minutes. Is it that much of your day that you don't have time to do that? To change your reality? Just asking. Because people say, I only have time to read those prayers. Okay, five minutes, or maybe even one minute. You don't have one minute to read through the prayer? Hmm, interesting. That's a choice. That's actually a choice and a priority. So I'm going to kind of like leave you with a couple of questions. What is your priority? Is your priority being in fear, anger, shame, blame, regret? Or is your priority to be happy and joyful? Which one would you choose? Are you going to live continuously in fear? Or you're, would, it, would you allow forgiveness to be part of your life? And as I said, it's not about allowing people to abuse you. Actually, the opposite is true. Because... A lot of times you allow people to abuse you because you did not forgive them or they didn't forgive you or you didn't forgive yourself. So you're allowing the abuse to continue. If you actually allow the forgiveness to cleanse you, you will see more clearly of what's in front of you. And you wouldn't have the karmic entanglement to keep you stuck in those relationships. So we have just about a minute left before the end of the show. Just want to remind you, if you have any questions, you can always email me um, at helen.g at or through the website, Creating Abundance with Ease. And you can find me through Facebook, through Instagram, and I'll be happy to connect with you. And maybe one of those days, I'll see you in person, live, and please, please, please don't let fear run your life. Allow the forget, even what's going on in the world right now with COVID, with social isolation, and all that fear that being instilled in you, in everybody, with vaccines, with illness, with death and dying, what if it's another illusion and another lie that you can clear with forgiveness and choose what works for you even if you choose to be sick if you choose to create something different and i love you and i will see you next week bye thank you for choosing to listen to creating abundance with ease radio show Dr. Helen Gitlovich will return next Wednesday 
at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, and 9 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. We hope you'll join us. Until then, have fun using the tools of the week in your life and start creating magic in your life and your body.